<laughs> Coming out of the jungle to this is just wow. What is going on, guys? We are back in the motherland of smiles. We are in Thailand. We just landed about two hours ago in Phuket. We are at the Widam Sipo Resort of Phuket. Guys, this place is so nice. Let me take you to the room. Guys, I'm so happy to be back in Phuket. Like, well, in Thailand in general. And I wish we had more time here, but we are only here for four whole days. Come on in. So let's start with the humongous bathroom we have. We have a bathtub, toilet area, a shower, which also opens up to the outside so everyone can see your ass. <laughs> Welcome to the bedroom. I'm just gonna step out of the bath <laughs> and you are into the master bedroom. I've right, got a humongous bed. Shall I jump on it? <laughs> that wasn't very soft, but it's comfortable. I think it will be fine. <laughs> so we have a fridge, nothing in it. Got a tea section, got some humongous wardrobes over there. And I'm gonna take you through to the best part of this villa. Seating area, voila. We have our very own jacuzzi and it's warm. And I'm about to get in here. So it's pretty late, it's almost 12 o'clock. Uh, we're not gonna do anything tonight. We're gonna get a takeaway. We're gonna chill in and we are going to hit the trip nice and early tomorrow morning, book a nice island tour and maybe a, a ped so we can get around the island and we will catch you in the morning, bright and early. Peace. Good morning guys from Phuket, Old Town. Woke up bright and early today. I was ready to head out and oh, I've sent us in the wrong direction. Yeah, we got ready to head out real early and then we ended up having to wait for our motorbikes to come, but we got them. We rode about 30 minutes here. And now we're gonna go get something to eat. The weather is beautiful. It is beaming down. Amazing buildings. It's so good to be back here in Phuket. We vlogged the last time I was here in 2019, but <laughs> all those clips got destroyed and corrupted, so we never actually got to get a video out for it. So happy to be back. Get one out this time. We're going to a spot called Raya, which is apparently quite a popular spot. Very nice food. I'm here with these two dorks. Get a load of these guys. Just arrived here at Raya. Well, me just dropped as well. Just finished up eating at Raya. I am so full up. Now we are gonna head back to our motorbikes and ride up to Monkey Hill. It's only about a 10 minute ride from where we are currently. So when I walked back to the motorbikes, we saw this beautiful temple behind us. It looks like they've got a performance going on here, so let's see what's going on. Monkey Hill. <laughs> this is insane. This is Monkey Hill, guys. They are everywhere. And we are, this is just the start of Monkey Hill. <laughs> How do you feel being back at Monkey Hill? <laughs> it's good to be back. Monkey Hill are just as crazy as ever. <laughs> First impressions of Monkey Hill. <laughs> so we've driven up the hill, but you can't drive it all the way up. So we're hiking the rest of the way to the viewpoint which I'm hoping is not a long hike because it's hot and I'm tired. What are you saying, Charles? Oh, they're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're saying? No, I just saw it. <laughs> oh. What are you guys doing? Getting sticks to beat the monkeys up. No, I'm joking. No, don't say that. Trying to fend them off. Some tourists coming down so they're attacking people up there. <laughs> What's up, little guys? This ain't food, he's like, that ain't food. 
It's cool though, right? No, nah, no, nah, it's mine. <laughs> He's like, ain't nothing in that hand. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Trying to eat my fingers. <laughs> what are you saying, my guy? Nice to meet you. Let's just pause there for a second. I need to put a disclaimer out there for everyone. Do not try this. Looking back at this was very, very stupid. If one of these monkeys had bit or scratched me, I would have had to go to hospital because some of these monkeys carry very infectious diseases. So definitely do not do this if you go to Monkey Hill or anywhere else for that matter. How you doing? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> They're cute, man. Okay. I just want to quit. <laughs> You're running like a cartoon character. Why are you running like lady? We have made it to, to a viewpoint. <laughs> Well, I don't think it's the viewpoint. Oh, yeah. Alright, it feels good to be on flat ground. Look at that view. We have no food, my guy. You've come to the wrong place. We've made it to yet another viewpoint. Guys. Again, not the viewpoint. <laughs> it keeps going, I don't think. It is a nice viewpoint, though. I have it in me. I'm done. So we've decided to give the viewpoint a miss, just to be honest. We just can't be off. So, heading back down. <laughs> Gonna drive to Nui Beach. And uh, hopefully go for a swim. <laughs> what are the odds that he was here again when we came like four years later? Came at the same time as Every he was here last time. <laughs> We've just reached Karen's viewpoint. It's absolutely amazing. Camera doesn't do justice here. After we leave here, New Beach, the entrance is right around the corner and we'll show you that in a minute. Here we go. All right. So, just reached uh, like the top part of New Beach. It's costing us 300 baht each to get a taxi, which is basically a pickup truck, seats in the back to take us down. You can ride down there on your own, but it's actually I mean, to be fair, I think I'll be alright. We've done Hajen. <laughs> but just in case, we gave them like a 3,000 baht deposit, something like that, 2,000. And I do not want to lose that 2,000 baht. <laughs> just to be extra safe. We'll just take a taxi. This is like an ultimate test for the Insta 360 Because this is my bumpy ride. I've got it turned up to max stabilization right now. And so let's see how well it stabilizes the camera. <laughs> Hello well, guys, this is New Beach. I can't remember if we got the vlog out from when we came to New Beach. No, we don't have anything from here because we lost all the footage. Yeah, we don't, but last time we came here, there was no sunbeds. It was a lot less crowded. <laughs> it's become a bit more commercialized since then. It was about four years ago. <laughs> what are you saying? Is it everything you remember? Um, yeah, but just more. <laughs> just more? Like, Little motorbikes and I ain't yeah. So we're taking Alex to his first night <laughs> down Bangalore Road. It's madness. the road to freedom beach is so sketchy and by the way guys this is the free entrance of freedom beach i believe we're headed to i've had to jump off the bike 
we are here at Freedom Beach and we found the free entry. So let's go because I think it's a bit of a hike. Yeah, I'm eating a banana because I am hanging and I can't put anything else in my stomach. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, today is Chelsea's 30th birthday. Alright, man. Big 30. Big 30. <laughs> so, last night we went out uh, to Patong, uh, Bangalore Road, hit the strip, went clubbing. Um, you know, yeah, it was a crazy night. <laughs> it was out. I think we got back to the hotel maybe like half three. You know or what four. happens on Bangla Road. <laughs> it was a wild time. Went to Illusions, went to Sugar, went to some other club. Yeah. Alright, guys. It was good, man. Why has the ping pong show, like, they've increased their prices? It's a lot more than I remember. So, yeah, we gave it a miss if you wanted to know. We didn't actually go because it was like £40, pounds, 35 to £40 pounds to get in. So I thought, you know what, it's not really worth that much money. Yeah. I mean, I can go home and do that. <laughs> no, I'm j <laughs> joking. <laughs> Private show. <laughs> uh, it's a bit sketchy. Yeah, so the path. I, I mean, slippers for goodness sake. You always hike in the oh. worst attire. <laughs> yeah, here's the free path down to Freedom Beach. No pun intended. But yeah, if you go with the paid one, then obviously it's a lot easier to just get to the beach. How long is this walk? About 30 minutes? No, I don't know. I'm uh, going with it. I remember someone saying it's like a 30 minute walk down. Nah, I think it's about 15. And we 15? Do this. <laughs> we'll see, we'll tell you guys how long it took us. But as you can see, the path down gets pretty sketchy, but I'm sure it'll all be worth it in the end. Guys, the hike down to Freedom Beach. It's no joke. It's a trash rush one, I tell ya. I'd say it's taken us maybe the uh, 20 minutes? Yeah, 15, 20 minutes. Wow. Oh wow, wow, wow. God. Whoa, 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 wow. Guys, it's definitely beach. worth beautiful. the sketchy hike down. That's some white sand and blue water right there. Okay, Ooh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. Everyone loves Antonio's hair out there. <laughs> Coming out of the jungle to this is just, wow. Amazing, right? Perfect place to spend my I'm not gonna lie to you, I wouldn't waste your time paying entry fee and blood blah blah blah. So really beach, this by far has become my favourite beach in Phuket. <laughs> like by a hundred times more. Like Nui Beach, everything is so commercialised, it's really expensive. Don't get me wrong, it's very, very nice. But you have this pristine clear blue water <laughs> for free. The only thing that is a real shame here is that we don't have enough time to fully enjoy it. Because I could spend the whole day here just chilling and doing nothing. But we've got places to be. Chelsea's birthday, we've got things booked. So we thought we'll just come and see it at least before we do Phuket. Man, what a beautiful beach. Highly recommend if you're in Phuket. Come and check this place out. White sand, blue water. I'm walking your asshole. Charles is writing himself a happy birthday message in the sand. <laughs> so we've just stopped off at a very local spot and we've ordered some pad kapow and they're making it fresh so you know it's gonna be bang. But yeah, we're running late to the spa. But I couldn't care less because I'm hanging. <laughs> it's your birthday. And, and it's my birthday. When I die, bury me inside the I Gucci store. I always say this, I'm never getting drunk because I have things to do on my actual birthday. I end up getting drunk the night before. Don't take notes. Thank you. Thank you. I've come to Thailand and not get a pad kapow. I'm Look at that. That is divine. Yeah, that's the place. Yeah, that's the place. Yeah, that's the place. Yeah, that's the place. The only thing 
room. <laughs> and it's humongous. There is another room. We have a super duper big bar. And we also have a shower and of course a toilet. I'll take you guys back into the bedroom so you can see it from a different perspective. Absolutely massive, like Charles said. <laughs> we get ready now, we're going to head out to dinner, we're going to Cartel Rocks with a reservation for 5.30. So, let's go. Above and beyond. Never fails. <laughs> they call me birthday planner AJ. <laughs> 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 Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Wish all the best to you. Thank you very much for tonight.